Hi friends and welcome back to Max Electronics. I am really sorry that I haven't been posting videos as often as I would like and probably you would like as well. I've been really busy with the nightclub and redoing their lighting rig. Um, I do have quite a bunch of projects that are waiting here to be filmed, quite a few interesting ones. Uh, here's one of the lighting fixtures that I got from a club um, and uh, the problem is it's called the mushroom. I buy... Yeah, that's the mushroom, LED mushroom. So the problem with that is it's continuously turning the motor and uh, even though like if you put in the sound mode it's got uh, sound activation so you know you, you clap your hands with, with the music it'll turn and change colors and turn the other way but what's happening with this one it just continuously turning even if there is no sound or even if you practically turn it off and put it in DMX mode and put every value to zero it'll still keep turning the motor in one direction. So excuse the noise on the background I've got a new UPS in here and when I got it I it's an industrial one I didn't realize it's going to be so noisy because it's for the server so I'll have to fix that up and put quiet fans and maybe a couple of diodes to keep it quiet because the UPS is quite powerful it's um, 3000 watts but I'm only using quarter of that if that so I'll uh, sort that out later but let's turn it on and see what it does so that might get a bit noisy but here we go so you hear the motor turning, oh there we go, there's a light. And as I'm talking, it picks up my voice and activates. But, the motor continues turning even if it's off. So let's open it up and have a look what's inside. Now, to remove the lead, uh, well to remove the top to clean it, there is a screw right here that we're going to remove. And in there, there's not much access, it's literally just for cleaning. We find the lenses. And we found three, find three LEDs, which looks like they're 3 watt each, so it's 10 watt fixture. So you've got red, green, blue, that's the thing that turns. And to get access to the inside, we will have to remove that lead here. Let me unplug it. So there's four screws on each side which I'm going to remove now. There we go. I might put that screw back in because we don't really need access to the front here. So let's pull this lead off and it's got a ground wire attached so we'll disconnect this. Here's our board. There is uh, four transistors I can see right here. That's the ones that are driving. It's an age breach and there's two caps. So the caps look to be alright. Uh, I'm going to replace them anyway and uh, the transistors I don't know if they're good so we're going to remove them and uh, test them out see if they are died or shorted. So to remove that board we need to uh, unscrew a couple of screws here on the back for the DMX for the XLR ports and remove that of course and that nut. So I'm going to do this off camera and get the board out and we'll have a look at it closer. Here is the board out of the uh, light and uh, we can see there's four transistors driving as an H breach. We've got the voltage regulation, we've got dedicated um, LED mushroom V.10 um, controller, one meg trim port for the uh, sound sensitivity, we've got microphone input, so it's actually got two microphones, I'll show you in a second uh, once we check out the board what's happening there with the two microphones, uh, and uh, we've got the LM324N, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to disorder those transistors and I'm going to disorder the caps as well, so I'll, I'll change the caps over anyway. Uh, it's good practice. And we'll test them on the tester and see if they're good because I have suspicion that the transistors are dead. We also can check the diode here. Just to make sure that it's good. Yeah, the diode seems to be good. And let's just buzz through the transistors to see if the, any of them are short. 
Yeah, that's short. Am I testing the right ones? Maybe not. Yeah, that's short. It looks like there may be just one transistor that is short. This one. But we'll take them out all anyway. And uh, just to make sure that they are good and fresh. So I'm going to refresh the solder. Just wet it and make sure it's fresh so it's easier to desolder. And get rid of those caps. All right, so let's get all this out. And put them through the tester. So I'm going to put the cap in with a different one. Uh, it's a 220 microfarad. So those are 100 microfarad 35 volts. I'm going to put 220 35. So it's just 40 um, microfarad more. And it's just going to be one cap. And I'm going to bridge it across two. So I've got a good positive and negative. So this way. And bridge those two pins. And it'll fit there just fine. So it's just slightly higher capacity. It just takes place of two. And that's it. They are bridged together anyway. So the cap's in. Now let's test those. I'll get rid of this. And let's test those transistors and see if any of them are bad. And I've got a feeling that three of them are good and one is bad. So let's see what the universal tester says. This one's good. Let's try this one. This one's good. So PNPs are good. Now the NPNs. This one's good. So I guess this is the bad one. Yep. There it is. 28 ohm, 1 to 2 short, 29 ohm. And that is the uh, C13, so it's SC13, 1384. I'm going to replace all of the transistors anyway. I've got the brand new ones ready because I already knew that fault. So that's going to the bin. Let's put those in. So this is uh, one, three, four. So that's those. And usually, what I like to do because they do, they can get warm. So if they usually, what in some cases I've seen those lights, and what happens, the transistors are fully blown off. You know, scorched board. And the reason for that is during the operation, normal operation, it only uses about maybe fifty milliamps with the motor turning maybe 60 but as soon as you stall the motor or hold it down or something happens the current rockets to like you know two amps three amps and those are only two amp rated so if you stall the motor the current will go through the roof and it'll blow the transistors and usually that's uh, you know when the mechanism is worn off or there's not enough oil or anything like that will cause that problem so I will uh, lubricate the the motor and everything I'll do a few drops of lubrication there just to make sure now let's trim the legs
and put it back into the device and test it out. So before screwing it all in properly, I'm going to uh, plug it in and to see and make sure that you know it operates fine. Those standoffs can be a little bit of a pain in the bum. Here they are. So you remember how I said two microphones there? That's one right here, and that leads to the back right here. Where is it? Right there. There's a microphone. And the second one is actually on board. You see the slip rings? They will just supply power. And the lights, there is a dedicated circuit board, and that's the microphone right here. Let me just adjust the focus for you. Is that the microphone? Yes, that's the microphone right there. And that will actually change the lights. And that's just a simple slip ring. It's actually quite smooth. I don't think it needs any lubrication. But I'll do a drop of oil just there, just in case. So that's good. Now let's plug it in and see if it works now before we assemble it fully. So here comes the IEC and I'll zoom out for you. Alright, here we go. I'll turn up the sensitivity. Yep, it works perfectly now. So if you do have a fault where it's uh, with a mushroom LED, I'll turn it off so it doesn't annoy us. If you do have a fault with a mushroom LED where it doesn't uh, rotate at all or a uh, burning smell is coming from it or um, it rotates in one direction and wouldn't turn off, you just need to replace those transistors and while you're at it replace that cap as well or two caps you can put two 100s in or change it to 220. Uh, also if you do have them blown up badly or burned out make sure you check the motor because the chance that you might need to replace this uh, gear head with a motor it's a 12 volt motor with a 60 rpms it should be very easy uh, the way to test it get it out of there unplug it plug it into a regulated power supply and s turn it on and see how much it consumes. If it consumes more than 50, 60 milliamps, so you know like something, okay, 100, let's say 100, if it consumes more than that you have a problem and you need to replace it or lubricate it. Uh, if it consumes less than that or, then you're absolutely fine and you know in this case it's probably just a blown transistor, that's what happened because the motor is um, quite alright. Uh, in fact I can probably show you the current reading if I find one of the wires. So let's plug in, let me grab my uh, clamp meter and I will show you how much it consumes. Alright, I've got the clamp meter on, let's try zeroing it out and um, I'll turn the device on now. Turn the sensitivity up as well. Oh, there we go, got it working. So you can see how much it consumes. Um, practically nothing, so very, very low current. That's it. I am going to a very interesting device. It does some good effects. Almost like confetti kind of all over the room. Uh, so I'm going to put this back together and send it off to the club. I promise I do have more projects coming up. I have actually a room full of stuff that needs to be filmed. Uh, I will be back hopefully very shortly. My name is Max. I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also have Patreon. Bye.